Hello and welcome everybody to a brand new exciting edition of Industrial Valco University where you can get your PVF degree for absolutely free. Today we're going to talk about adapters. In specific we're going to talk about unions and bushings. Now the thing about adapters, they're fittings that join together components that aren't usually made to fit together. For example, say you have a coupling and say you have a nipple. Well, the coupling's one inch, the nipple's half inch. Is there anything that could put these bad boys together? You guessed it, adapters. So the adapters we're gonna talk about today are the bushings, the unions, and we're also gonna briefly, just ever so briefly talk about flanges. And when I say flanges, I mean briefly talk about them. Like, for example, we briefly learned about Bobo Fett. This is for the millennials out there. We briefly learned about Bobo Fett in Chapter 4, A New Hope on Star Wars. But not until now, when Disney Plus came, do we learn the whole Mandalorian experience. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to touch just a little Boba Fett action with these flanges right here. So don't worry. Just like with Disney Plus, The Mandalorian, we are going to go deep. So deep, we'll put the other PVF supply houses to sleep. All right, but for now, let's talk about the four things we want you to learn today. Number one, we want you to understand the basic characteristics of a bushing. We want you to be able to name all the different types of the unions. They've got different types and different purposes. Number three, we want to describe the three parts of the union. Did you know that every union has also three parts? Well, it does, and we'll talk about those, and you'll know them. I guarantee it. And number four, we want to talk about how this bad boy right here, let me see if I can pick it up. Oh my goodness. We also want to talk about how this flange right here can also be used as an adapter. So let's get it on. Put that right back there. Adapters in general in residential and in plumbing are fittings to connect pipe of different materials that require different joining methods. But in the industrial world, it's a little different. They're more of a transition fitting. Adapters are also known as transition fittings because they are able to link between pipe that wouldn't otherwise be possible to connect. So how are they connected, you ask? Well, let's talk about bushings. Bushings are a straight line fitting that is entered into one end of the pipe. In order for it to be fitted with a pipe with a smaller diameter, it's a straight line fitting with one male end and one female end. Bushings can have various ends, plain, threaded on one side, threaded on both sides. When ordering, you have to remember two things. First, you start with the outside dimension, and secondly, you then give the inside dimension. So for an example, this bushing right here, you would start with the outside dimension, which is one inch, then you go to the inside dimension, which is half inch. So it would be a one inch by half inch bushing. Simple stuff. Now a bushing will usually have a hex head. We'll use the old galvanized one for this one. All right, you can look right here. If the hex head is larger than the bushing like it is here, it's called an outside hex head bushing. If it's smaller, then it's called an inside hex head bushing. The bushings that we have at Industrial Valco, which you can buy at ivalco.com, we carry in zinc and black. What's that? Oh, that's right. It's my favorite time of every episode. Did you know? Industrial Valco University presents, Did You Know? Did you know that Delaware was the first state to join the union in 1787? All right, well, why am I talking about unions? Is it because I love United States history? Well, yes, but it leads us to union talk. All right, the union is another fitting used for a straight line. The union has three parts to it. Number one, it's the top part. It's used to connect to a pipe. The middle part, the nut tightens down the joint. And the bottom part is to connect to another pipe. The value of the union is that you can disconnect the pipe without actually turning the pipe. The surface area where the two connections touch is called the seat. The seat can be made of the same material or a softer material to ensure a tight seal. I also wanted to show you the Rockwood Union. Any industrial house worth its salt gonna carry the Rockwood Union. And what's interesting about the Rockwood Union is that it has a brass seat for a higher steam. Now as you unlock the nut, you pull it open, I wanna show you, we'll go to the overhead. You can see right here, 
that's the brass seat and again that's for a higher steam so all unions are built the same but the seat material can be different and that's the rockwood union okay i teased it i promised it let's talk briefly about it let's talk about the companion flange the companion flange also makes a flange able to be an adapter what happens is you get a tap or a bore in the middle which is a smaller than the size of the flange this allows two different pipes to be put together so for this example what we'll do is we take a three inch flange we put a one inch bore in and what you've got is voila and there you go you've now taken it to where it is adapted and reduced from three inches to one inch what did we learn today well let's review we learned some of the characteristics of a bushing and what exactly it does we learned the different types of unions and described the three parts of each union we also learned that a flange can also be an adapter by being a companion flange with a bore connecting two different sizes of pipe and what else did we learn today? Well, probably the most important lesson of them all, that you can buy this and much, much more at iValco.com. You can, uh, well, there it is. Hey, look at that. Also, you can go to one of our eight branches, conveniently located in the greater United States of America, and with 24-7 online ordering, order them, go pick it up, or have it sent out with Speedability, which is in stock, error-free, or two hours or less. All right, it was great spending time with you. We look forward to it again. Have a great day. Hey everyone, thanks again for watching. Be sure to click the subscribe button so you do not miss a class. Also, be sure to go to iValco.com where you can get more information and resources for the items that you saw and also have the opportunity to purchase these items with our 24-7 online ordering. Also, be sure to visit our partners at the American Supply Association or ASA.net for additional training and courses that are tailored for all areas of the supply chain management.